Hi, hola, welcome to Alpha Dime. So this is the look we'll be doing today and this is gonna be a look for my Bad Bunny concert. So if you're interested to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. All right, so my face is all set. I did some primer today, I used the Unique Primer and then for my uh, foundation, I used the Il Maquillage I Woke Up Like This in the shade uh, 105. And then I used concealer under my eyes um, to cover, you know, dark circles and imperfections. And now uh, the look that we're gonna do today, um, it's actually for my Bad Bunny concert because as a lot of people uh, know me personally, I'm gonna go see him on Sunday, August the 28th at Yankee Stadium. So I'm super, super excited. So I wanna um, trial out some looks before uh, the big day, but I think the one that I chose is the one that it's gonna be for Sunday. So this look is gonna be super simple um, in my point of view, uh, cause it doesn't require any liner or any, um, not anything too complicated. So let's just get started. Um, what you're gonna do is that, um, you're either gonna use a brown that is uh, good enough for your, the tone of your skin, or you can use a nude. Um, I'm gonna use a brown. And the palette we're gonna be using today is the Festival, the Pastel um, palette that I've used before. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of brown on my brow bone. And you're just gonna blend it out. And you can put it on the whole lid. And you could just use a fluffy brush fluffy crease brush, whatever is uh, comfortable for you. Just something fluffy that you can use in a circular motion. And I use the brow sculpt uh, on my eyebrows for, from Maybelline so that they don't look washed out. and just keep the color on the brow bone and on the outer V. And you can blend um, however you want. And uh, before I forget, um, it's not a new technique, but it is something that you can do um, when you are doing makeup to help you uh, keep all of the colors and products where they belong. So basically you're going to use like a brightening or a loose powder and you're going to use a small brush and you're going to shake it up a little bit and then you're going to dab it. I believe this is called... Uh, baking but basically why I do this is so that when I do my lower lid and when I do my mascara it doesn't you know stick and then you can just like brush it off when you're done so I'm just dabbing it in there Now on the lower lid, I want to do um, some blue eyeliner and it's going to be the City of Flashing Lights and this is in the color, I've used this one before but I could never find it, I think it's called Let's Go. So this is just for the lower lid. I'm keeping it on the waterline. And just 
just give yourself a couple seconds to blank because my eyes get very watery when I deal with my lower lid. But we can deepen it after a couple minutes. Now for the fun part, the inner lid, um, I'm going to do a light blue because the t-shirt first uh, top that I want to use is on this like lighter blue. And you can use a pencil brush like this one because they tend to be on the stiff side and it's easier to apply the product. you can deepen it as little as much as you want i'm more of like a deepen because i want it to pop and now we'll go back in with the eyeliner now that my eye is a little bit more settled And this uh, eyeliner is like a uh, twisty, so. first time for everything right and just make sure you blend it in right because you don't want any odd discoloration now to highlight oh no that's the contour side i'll just put some on my nose a little bit under my brow uh, my cupid's bow and as usual, cheekbone. I forgot to blend this side. I got a squirrel brain. I'm like, why does it look so dark there? Like, duh, you didn't blend the contour. We all have those days. Just be patient with yourself, because it happens. So, back to highlighting. <laughs> now for the highlighting, I've been using the Kabuki brush because I feel like it helps me um, distribute the color or the highlighter the way I want to since it's creamy. also helps if you're like me where you're in between needing to um, to 
touch up your eyebrows. You can also use um, concealer under there to cover the hairs. This is almost time for me to go get them done. And then we'll just go one last time to blend in. and then we can move on to our mascara. Now for mascara, I'm using the Unique 40. It is one of my favorites because it gives me all the drama and that's what I want because I'm focusing more on my eyes than anything else. And just be careful with your lower lid because you have a color eyeliner, so you want that to be able to show. I think I already have to clean that off over there and a little bit in my inner eye on this side. But yeah, you can do how many um, layers you want. As always, I'm not the layer kind. I do one coat and I'm happy. I give it a little bit of length and then I'm happy with it. Sorry for the mascara face, but can't help it. So that's the mascara. I think the mascara already dried on there. So let me grab my spoolie. Clean spoolie, as always. And a little bit of sparkle so I try to put it in there okay I realized I forgot to do a little bit of blush so uh, a little bit over I will apply some blush I want to use the Ariza Beauty because it's just a touch of blush I don't want anything too crazy this is just a bad bunny concert I'm gonna be sweating Kylie Jenner Dolce K uh, lip kit. Because I want a more natural look for my lips because all the drama is on my eyes. Whenever your eyes are too dramatic, you have to tone down your lips. If you want your lips to be more dramatic, you have to tone down the eyes. You can do both, but that would be up to you. using my natural color lip because I figured out that this is my natural color. Now I will use the lipstick in the same color. This is definitely it for me. I really like how the brown keeps it on the classy and then the pop of color is like perfect because my top is gonna be that specific color. So I think this is the perfect look for my Bad Bunny concert because it's not too flashy or too natural. I think it's just right. And 
these are my Bad Bunny nails. I did the little Bad Bunny, but I did almost like a French outline and it's honestly my favorite. <laughs> so um, the quote that I have for today is a Bad Bunny quote. Um, he can be a little sassy, but I love it. Um, I'm gonna read it in Spanish and then translate it in English. Uh, the quote says, no es que sea antisocial, es que ustedes dan mala vibra. So uh, what that says is not that I'm antisocial, it's just that you have a bad vibe. He couldn't said it any better. You don't want to chill with bad vibes. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this video today for my Bad Bunny concert look. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you can recreate it yourself. Thank you for tuning in this Friday and I'll see you next time.